Hello, thank you so much for joining me for devotion. I wanted to share a passage with you. It's from Psalm 131. It's a very exciting passage. It's a song of ascent. It's when the priestly, uh, when a servant uh, of the temple, when they take the steps towards the temple, that's when they would sing the song. Or even the Israelites, when they would go towards Jerusalem to worship, that's when they sing this song. There's only three verses, but it's packed. And hopefully it will bring encouragement to us, particularly um, it reminds us that do not lose faith in hard times. Do not lose faith in hard times. So here it goes. It says that my heart, it's not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I calmed and quieted myself. I am like a wounded child with his mother. Like a wounded child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. What it is trying to say is that uh, in the world, there is, the world is cruel. There's a lot of challenges in the world. But we can always come to God. It's like coming to mother to find that comfort. And it's an interesting way of using weaned a child rather than nursing child. Because a weaned child is a little bit older and also had a little bit uh, of the world, so to speak. But they're not in pair uh, by the experience of the world. Um, so they are knowing uh, there's fear in the world and all of that. But when there's challenges, they're able to come to the mother to find comfort. Isn't it so much so of, of describing us today? The world has a lot of challenges, but we are the winter child. We can come to God and find that safety and be content um, uh, in the presence. Uh, you, in this scripture, the mother, uh, where is it? In the presence of God. But it also said that what is our inner posture when we come to God? When they come to the temple, when they go to Jerusalem, what is their inner posture? Their inner posture, of course, um, cannot be prideful, cannot be arrogant. That's what it is saying. Uh, my heart, it's not proud and my eyes are not haughty. That is the inner posture. We need to ask God, God, when we come before you, be, help us to be aware of what is our inner posture. Uh, we want to be humble and come to, and we don't want it to be busy bodies. It is saying that um, I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. Do not be a busy bodies when we come. Come as who we are, as humble, and and acknowledge that we need God. And acknowledge the fact that Lord, sometimes we're busy bodies, but we wanted to let that go, and saying God, I can with your help. I can quiet myself. I can calm myself. Because in your presence, there is comfort. He is a faithful God. And so here is a comparison. God's hope and the world's cruelty. It is saying that we can come and wait on the Lord. Because God, it's our hope both now and forever. So in a sense, we can ask ourselves, do we need a rest today? Do we need to slow down? Do we need a respite today? We can come as we the child. We can come to our mother. We can come to this comfort, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. And so today I wanted to uh, uh, close it uh, with, a, with a prayer. Um, and this prayer, it's uh, from um, uh, some a spiritual exercise that I found. And uh, it's called Soul of Christ. It says, Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inurbate me, it means intoxicate me, fill me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Pray a blessing over you. Pray that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me.